To get started with the Speech API for Node.js, you'll need a GCP project, which you can set up in the console. Enable the Speech API for that project. Then, create a service account and download the private key as JSON. You're going to use these credentials to access Google Cloud APIs. So keep this file secure and out of your code and public repos. To access the credentials securely from your project, go to the terminal and set an environment variable to the path of your service account. Now prepare your environment for Node.js development. Install the client library. If you use Cloud Shell in the console, you can skip this step since the required dependencies are already included. For this example, you will need some audio which contains speech to transcribe. There's a sample audio you can download linked in the notes below. Move your audio sample to the project in a resources folder and change the name of the file to make it generic for example purposes. Now you don't actually have to change the name of your file, but just remember to write it correctly when prompted to write the file name to the code. Make a new project file or open an existing file. Open the Google Cloud Client Library and the File System module. Start with an async function called main. Then instantiate a speech client. Provide the file name of the audio file you want to transcribe. Then use file system to read the local audio file and convert it to base64 encoding. Create a document called audio with a field called content set to that base64 string of the audio. Provide some details about configuration in an object called config. You must include the type of encoding, the sample rate in hertz, and the language of the speech in the audio. But there are also optional fields. You can find out more about these fields in the API documentation link below. Instantiate an object called request, which is made up of the audio and config objects. Call recognize, passing the request object. This returns a promise that resolves to contain the result as zero or more sequential speech recognition result messages. Each speech recognition result has a property called alternatives, which may contain one or more recognition hypotheses. An alternative has three properties, transcript, confidence, and words. Transcript is a string representing the words that the user spoke. Confidence is a number between 0.0, .0 and 1.0, where a higher number indicates an estimated greater likelihood that the recognized words are correct. Words is an array of word info objects. I won't talk more about word info since it goes beyond the scope of this quick start, but if you're curious, check out the API reference to find out more. To print out the transcription, get the first alternative from each result, then join them in a single string. Log that transcription. Run the main function and include a catch block to handle any errors. Save your file and run the code. If everything worked properly, you should see the transcription of the text. If not, take a look back at the code for any syntax errors. Congratulations, you've just sent your first request to the Speech-to-Text API. To find out more about the client libraries or consult Speech Basics, check out the cloud documentation.